Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this broadcast. My name is Ali Board, and I am broadcasting across several platforms this morning. Why am I doing that? It's a multiple, multiple event today. We have the beginnings of the autumn term of Technique Tuesday. So that is a broadcast I do every Tuesday, or nearly every Tuesday, uh, via Facebook. But we are also on day six of 30 days hath September. All of these things I'm going to explain an awful lot about this morning, so bear with me. It's really lovely to be back. Uh, I've taken a couple of weeks off broadcasting live on social media just to, to have a bit of a break myself and we had summer school in and we had the start of 30 days and all those sorts of things. And, uh, and so thank you very much uh, for being patient with me while I've done all of those things. It's really nice to be back. Now, why are we here and why is this a special broadcast? So Technique Tuesday, Tuesday, I tend to share whatever it is that I'm thinking about at the time. That might be some materials or a project or something. But this month, the month of September, is special for lots and lots of reasons. So I am currently on day six of my challenge, 30 days hath September. And I'm going to take you to a little graphic to show you more about that. So here is 30 days hath September. Uh, we are trying, we, <laughs> there's lots of us, uh, trying to do 30 prompts, 30 minutes, 30 days. So that's the prompt list. We've been uh, tackling a different subject and it's been so fantastic to see how everybody is interpreting those words. And I've been trying to only take 30 minutes over it. That doesn't always work, it has to be said. Sometimes uh, it's a little bit more and sometimes it's a little bit less. And then the challenge will continue for 30 days. Now, if you look down that list, you can see that day six is a very special day. Uh, and I'll tell you, it's a special day for lots and lots and lots of reasons. So uh, today I have used the prompt of birthday. Now, we're going to take care of uh, two birthdays today. The first is my lovely mum, who I know is in the room at the moment because I can uh, see her commenting. I've got lots of, if you keep seeing me looking down, it's because I've got comments upon comments coming in. Uh, thank you very much to everybody who is uh, tuning in live. It's my mum's birthday today. So that's Liz. Now, uh, Liz pops up in a Technique Tuesday room on a very regular basis because she's very supportive. But it is her birthday today and I will be spending uh, the evening with with her um, but if you're out there in virtual land I know that uh, she would be thrilled to bits if um, you wished her a happy birthday so so stick that uh, lots of people doing it already stick that in uh, to the comments um, and she'd love that now if you I'm pretty sure there's another birthday out there as well today uh, for those of you who are all aboard artist members or learning to paint members, then you may know the lovely Viv, and I'm pretty sure that it's her birthday today. I think that's uh, stick, uh, stuck in the back of my uh, head somewhere. But there's another birthday as well. And if you're an SAA member, then you will already know about this. And it's the SAA's 30th birthday. 30 years that company's been going, which is a hell of an achievement, isn't it? So I'm not only broadcasting on my social media platforms uh, right now, but I'm broadcasting on there too. So uh, happy birthday to mum, to Viv and to the SAA as well. We'll talk more about the SAA's birthday in a little bit. So uh, I'm going to take you through, uh, I'm just I'm just looking at my, my prompt sheet over to one side because I've got a lot of information to tell you. I want to take you to where you can find the 30 Days Hath September blog, okay? So uh, to do that, I've just, I've just got to do some, uh, some poking around with my mouse. Just uh, bear with me a second. So let's go over to my website. So this is www.learningtopaint.co.uk because you might be interested, if you haven't seen it already, in reading about these projects. So uh, if you go over to my website and you go to the bit that says resources, can you see that uh, if I've just got to click on something else, uh, if you highlight that, uh, there's the normal Technique Tuesday blog and there is 30 days hath September. I'll just let that think about that a second. And uh, you can see uh, if I scroll down, it should pop up. My, uh, there we go. So uh, today's uh, blog is all there already. And then we've got all the previous ones too. So yesterday the prompt was tree. 
and we've had architecture and we've had music and we've had ancestry and uh, there we go day one was beginning so you can go back through all of those let's just uh, show you a bit of an example so you can see what happens when you get there so you'll uh, read a little bit about me or about what I'm thinking and then there's a, a video there for you to watch with whatever it is that I happen to be demonstrating on that day so there's plenty and plenty plenty of stuff there for uh, you to enjoy now the idea is that you can take one of the prompts you can take all of the prompts you can just sit back and enjoy it but if you do end up posting something that you have painted in uh, as a reaction to one of the prompts that I've given, I'm just gonna ask a couple of favors, if I may. Tag me in it. So the way that you do that is that you put the at symbol and then Ali Board Artist, all one word, at Ali Board Artist, and you'll see me pop up somewhere. Hit that and then you'll tag me in it and I'll be able to see the artwork. Now, I apologize if I don't comment on everybody's. I do try to see everybody's as they come in, but we've been amazingly inundated with uh, people responding to this challenge, which is awesome. So thank you very much for that. And the other thing uh, that would be awesome if you could do is to use a hashtag. Now, I know some people will be going, oh, I don't know what a hashtag is and I don't know how to use it. It's fine. It's not nearly as complicated as you might expect. So you need that hashtag uh, symbol. So that's uh, the kind of two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. And then all one word, 30, so that's three zero days hath September. And again, you tap on the suggestion that comes up. And the reason that we're using that is because if you go back onto social media or if you go back onto any search engine and you put 30 days has September in, lots of beautiful artwork will litter your feed. And then that way, uh, rather than all the horrible things that are going on in the world, you'll see some beautiful artwork created by some very talented people. So that is how you can take part. Now, I have another favour to ask. So I'm full of favours today, aren't I? If you go over to my social media, so Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, can you please like it, follow it, subscribe to it, all of those kind of things, because it helps me out enormously. I know that uh, not everybody likes social media and I know that uh, it can um, get in the way sometimes, but for artists like myself, particularly those who are broadcasting uh, for, uh, and kind of trying to help you out on a regular basis and posting their knowledge and information, if you can just make sure that you're liking and following those pages, that is payment enough for us. It just helps us to be seen by, by more people and uh, helps us to get more work in the future. So if you could do that too, even if you think you've liked it or followed it or subscribed to it, can you just check for me? That would be fantastic. Now, nearly there. I will get to the demo in just a second. There's been an awful lot of comments uh, coming in on Facebook. My apologies if I don't see all of them, but I want to give anybody who is uh, taking the time and trouble to uh, give them a bit of a shout out because I really appreciate it when you guys uh, log in and uh, chat to me live. So I'm gonna rattle through some hellos, if that's okay. Alice, good morning. Maureen, Rabina, Joe, Angie. Now, Julie, good morning, Julie. It has been a while since we've seen you, and I'm gonna talk about you in just a second, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Rosie, Hilary P, Jane, Kat, good morning. Joy, Anne, who else have we got? Janice, Denise, uh, Patricia. Uh, Barbara just down the road and she's wishing anybody who has a birthday today best wishes mum I knew she'd be in the room somewhere uh, Anne Anita good morning uh, who else have we got Anne B uh, Thea Jilly oh goodness there's lots of you today lots of people wishing my mum uh, a happy birthday thank you for that Carol Kathy um, Sandra oh goodness me there's so many of you Joy S good morning uh, let's just uh, Sue. Oh, Sue's up in Scotland. Good morning. Uh, and my mum's saying thank you to everybody for uh, wishing her a happy birthday. I've lost my place. That's not good. And uh, Cheryl, Sandy, Michelle, Fran, Joe, and Dee as well. Thank you all so much for taking the time and trouble to tune in. Right. Now, oh, and lovely Lisa is in the room as well. Lisa Ann Watkins, uh, good morning to you too. Uh, thank you very much for, for taking the time to tune in. I appreciate it greatly. Right, 
Now we've done all that, should we go to the overhead camera and uh, I can show you a couple of things uh, that I want to share with you. Now this is the 30 days book. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. But I have some other things to talk about first. Now this is the SAA's uh, magazine, so Paint Create magazine, um, which is their September issue. And uh, if you are an SAA member, then you'll get this uh, bi-monthly. It's an incredible magazine, and I'm very fortunate often to be uh, a contributor for it. Now, I've just got to very quickly find... Uh, and look, Anita's written about Back to Basics, and she's in the room as well. So, uh, this is what I wanted to do. Lovely Julie, who is in the room right now, um, has had a little feature on her in the magazine because... They're asking if uh, she is the most distant member because uh, she is, what is it, uh, 10 and a half thousand miles away and she takes the time and trouble to tune in live. So uh, I wanted to give her a shout out uh, because I know she will be thrilled that that's in there. If you want to read more about uh, 30 Days Has September, there's a little article in there as well, page 46 of your um paint magazine and uh, you'll see lots of other inspiration from lots of artists uh, all contributing to the the 30 years part of it and if you happen to be so inclined to enjoy pastels we had a look at pastels in a previous technique tuesday broadcast didn't we there's an article that i've written called leveling up where i take you through a project and i take you through to a sort of basic level then to an intermediate level, and then to a more advanced level. So I did uh, the lovely Orion, this uh, bald eagle. And you can read more about that too. So if you have that magazine, then there's lots uh, for you to enjoy, and it's celebrating 30 years of the SAA. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Anybody who has uh, used, um, got their copy already. Now let's talk about, I have just dropped everything on the floor. I knew it was going too well. Oh, goodness me. Let's pick all that up. Uh, the 30 Days book. Now, I have some thank yous uh, to do as well while showing you this. Uh, Julie is saying, uh, thank you, Ali. I am chuffed. I thought you would be, my lovely. Uh, now, I have some thank yous to do. I have a huge thank you uh, to the SAA who are allowing me to broadcast on their platform this morning. Um, but I have a couple of other thank yous to make as well. I want to thank my publishers, Search Press, who wrote a lovely article about me on Bookmarked, all about the 30 Days project. And uh, I have a, a huge thank you to make to Hannah Muller as well, who have generously gifted me this sketchbook as part of the 30 Days programme. So this is the sketchbook that I am going to be doing all of my 30 Days experiments in. Just in case you haven't seen any of the broadcasts yet, let me take you through uh, days one to five and you can see, I'll explain more about this and the, the vintage thing in just a second. So there was my day one, that was uh, what we called beginnings, and uh, that was basically a sort of icebreaker exercise for me, because a new sketchbook is a scary thing sometimes to, to do something in it. Um, but I didn't put myself under a lot of pressure, I just had a play, really. And then day two was about my ancestry. I did a sketch of um, my uh, second great grandmother, Sophia's locket, which is in my possession. Uh, who have I missed saying good morning to? Uh, Trisha, good morning, and Sheena, good morning to you too. Then we did uh, an, a more abstracty one where we talked about music and I was listening to a piece of music called Sleep by Max Richter. And uh, I was kind of responding to that. I've been uh, doing some experiments on black Nara paper as well, very kindly gifted to me by the lovely Heather. And uh, then we had architecture. This one uh, blew you away a little bit, some of you that have been following this. So I did a little pop-up version of my house. Look, there it is. Um, I don't know why, I just, uh, I've always loved a pop-up, mum will tell you. Um, and then yesterday was tree. And I didn't write about this, um, so much I just sort of kind of cracked on with it and some of the prompts uh, I just react to and some of the prompts I think an awful lot about some of the prompts I write a lot about it's just a different thing every day and this was me going out uh, into my garden and doing some rubbings of a tree and then bringing it back into the studio and creating a painting that way. You can read more about that on the blog. And here we have day six, an incredible uh, blank piece of sketchbook. 
Um, I chose the, the square sketchbook uh, because it gave me scope to, to do something small on one page or to go across two pages. So uh, this is today's. And uh, who have I missing? Like, oh, good morning, Mr. Templeman. How are you, sir? Um, and so now uh, I kind of go through a bit of a ritual. You might notice that I label each day, so day two. Um, let me just talk to you a little bit about the vintage thing. I've got this thing about vintage ephemera, vintage stationery, all of that type of stuff. Um, and I think it's because uh, I'm a stationer's daughter and I've always loved stationery my whole life. Who doesn't love stationery? But uh, I think where I started in terms of looking at ancestry and things, I just got a bit of a love for the vintage as well. So my ritual before I start is to label my page. Now I do have an idea of what I'm doing today in terms of uh, birthday, but I'm gonna label the page up first. Good morning, Carol, lovely to have you here from Oz as well. So I have this uh, alphabet stamp set, which I also dropped on the floor yesterday, so they're all out of order. It uh, makes my organized brain uh, do a bit of a backflip, if I'm honest. And I have this enormous uh, ink pad. Um, now this is waterproof, this ink pad, and I do that so that I can paint over the top of it and I don't have to think about it too hard. Um, and the first thing that I do as part of my ritual is I label the day. So I've got my little D, uh, where should we do this? Let's do it over here. Uh, so we've got a D uh, and A and a Y. What's going on in the chat? Ah, I think Janice was saying that her dog uh, tore up her a copy of Paint Magazine and Gary very kindly is saying that you should be able to read the digital version through the SAA site. Gary, I'd completely forgotten about that. Thank you very much for reminding me about that. Uh, good to know for all of you SAA members out there. Uh, now, uh, there's my number six, could be a number nine as well, but uh, we'll go for, for day six. So that's uh, the day all labelled up. And then what we need to do is we need to label up the prompt. Let's stick these things to one side before I knock all of those over as well. Uh, and to do that, I've been using this, uh, an old uh, Dymo machine. And I, I mean, what's not to like about an embossing Dymo machine? I love my technology, don't get me wrong. I love technology. I love my iPhone and my iPad and my Mac and all those things, all those lovely bits of technology that help me to do my job. But I love a bit of kind of going back to vintage stuff as well. So this is just in case you don't know what one of these is, this is um, a bit of tape comes out here and it embosses uh, a word in it. It's very old school and I love it to bits. Lots of you uh, sending love for the Dymo machine. So let's start as we mean to go on. Now all of the ones so far have been in gold, but I wanted the live versions that I'm doing of 30 days to be a different color, just to remind me. So let's crack on with it really. Um, you turn the dial for the number. Let's make sure that I spell this correctly. B, I, R, T, H, D, A, uh, all the way around uh, to Y, and then there's a little cutter on there, which, and it looks like I haven't uh, used the thing quite, I quite like it when it sort of hits and misses. Um, as you know, I have a love of that kind of printed uh, typewriter style of text, so I quite like it when it doesn't do it. Um, and it's got a little tab on the end, so we'll peel that off. Lots of people saying that they've got a Dymo machine somewhere. That's awesome. And then we'll stick that down, give it a bit of a burnish, and then that labels up the day. And it's kind of a bit of a ritual for me, really, which uh, I like to do because it gets my, my brain in gear, which is sometimes a bit of a challenge. Um, and now we're going to do a painting in response to this word birthday. Now I could have done anything and that is the point of the 30 days challenge that you can interpret it however you see fit. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if it's tenuous, 
it doesn't matter if it's obvious it doesn't matter if it's the first thing that you've thought about the last thing that you've thought about or how you go about it it all that matters is that you are being creative now some of the challenges i have been painting some of the challenges i have been crafting and i'm very very keen to not leave the crafters out as you know if you know my work i like to occupy that space between fine art and craft um, i quite like as my mum would say lick and stick i like cutting stuff up and sticking it down i like painting it and uh, this shouldn't necessarily be just one thing it should be uh, it should have scope to make things or cut things out it should have scope to do abstract things it should have scope to do fine art things it doesn't matter please don't let any of that spoil or get in the way of your creativity all right that is my uh, little soapbox for the day now what I thought I would do as it's birthday and as it's uh, Viv's birthday and mum's birthday and the SAA's birthday uh, I was trying to think of things that are associated with birthdays and uh, we could have gone for birthday cake uh, all that kind of thing but I thought do you know what a really good old-fashioned balloon I love a balloon what's not to like about a balloon I've attended an awful lot of children's parties recently and uh, I have to say being amongst lots of balloons has just been joyful so I thought I would choose uh, I'd, I'd choose balloons as a theme and I'd go for a palette of colors that uh, my mum will know very well now this is a palette of colors that I use a lot in my work there's uh, a bit of a, a family joke about this particular palette of colours and so I thought I would go for these uh, because uh, it represents my mum and, uh, and me and all of that kind of thing. Now this is watercolour. I have squeezed the watercolour out. I'm going to see if I can drop this down a bit further. Squeeze the watercolour out into pans. That is the way that I prefer to work. I don't like the consistency of paint as it comes out of the tube. Um, I prefer, and I don't like the consistency of pans either, it's a little bit hard for me. So I go for the Goldilocks effect of having somewhere between those two things. So I take a tube of paint, I squeeze it out into an empty pan, and uh, then reconstitute it that way. So let's start, uh, this is Cobalt Teal, and uh, this is a Daniel Smith colour. And I'm going to start with this one, I could have started with any of them to be honest. And I'm going to try and fly without a parachute uh, because I'm going to try and go back in with a brush and just paint my balloons without drawing them first. Obviously, if you fancy drawing them first, then do that. So let's uh, let's firstly think about what a balloon looks like. It's round, Ali. Well, it's sort of uh, oval shaped, isn't it? Now I need to, I'm pretty sure I need to leave a highlight out of my balloons. So a little bit of kind of wet into wet work. Uh, let's um, pop the little kind of bit at the bottom for the balloon. And then I'm gonna go in with a different brush. That was a size six, I think, yeah. A size six uh, SAA imitation sable brush. And I've also got a size two SAA silver rigger here too. And I need that for uh, the string on the bottom of uh, my balloons. So let's get one of those in. And let's pop that down and let's switch to a different colour. You'll, you'll see what I'm doing with this. Uh, you just kind of kind of have to be patient with me building this up. But that's all right. We can have a chat while we're doing it. I think I want that to be a bit paler. This is Opera Rose. Let's put a balloon in down here. Oh, that's a nice colour, isn't it? So let's uh, put a little bit of a highlight in and come around with our balloon shape. There's going to be some dodgy looking balloon shapes, aren't there? Put the, the little tie in, get hold of the rigger, pick up some paint and uh, put the string in that way. Uh, wash the brush out. What else have we got? Cerulean. Uh, lovely cerulean. I do like this colour. Very useful for skies and that type of thing. Uh, where should we go with this one? Let's go up here with this one. So we get that balloon shape in, needs a little bit of a double highlight. You can see I'm using my finger as an anchor for this. Uh, just the, the style that I paint. Into with my rigger, picking up that cerulean. Oops, 
and uh, bringing a string down that way. Uh, what haven't we used? Oh, ho hum, look at that. Ultramarine Violet. This is my brand of uh, watercolour. It's going to be very strong, so I need to make sure I've got plenty of water with that. Let's put one down here, shall we? Oh, maybe not quite that weak, Ali. Oh, and I've missed my height. Oh, honestly. Less chatting, more painting, Ali. Let's put that shape in around here. Good news is that balloons are a relatively recognisable shape. This one is a little, obviously, a little bit further forward than uh, the others. Let's get the neck of that balloon in. But what's lovely with this is that you can paint them quite scrappily, really. And it's not going to matter. Right, uh, let's put some more in while we're here. Maybe smaller ones, maybe further away. So let's, uh, let's pop some in up here. Put a little one in there. Making sure that we've got that highlight going on. Uh, neck, ooh. It's a bit of a dodgy shape, isn't it, Ali? I did better with the first two, didn't I? They've gone a bit hot air balloonish now. Uh, I think I need to address some of that. Let's go back in with the pink. I think I'm going to pop one over here onto this page. I'm drawn to that pink Dymo label. Let's get that in. That's a better shape. Get the shape in first, Ali, and then fill it in afterwards. Uh, what's Cheryl saying? As a kid's entertainer and balloon modeler, would love to see a balloon dog. Ah, now, uh, there is a piece of artwork uh, based on a balloon dog. The artist is going to escape me right now. Is it Eve Klein? Could be Eve Klein. Um, uh, that's a, a sculpture of a balloon dog. Go and look it up. My uh, art degree is failing me right now to remember who created that. But uh, yeah, sorry Cheryl, going for the actual balloon rather than the balloon dog today. Let's do another ultramarine violet version, shall we? Uh, so this is uh, nice and speedy. I'm not thinking about it too much. Definitely not trying to overthink it because uh, I want to enjoy the process. 30 days is all about getting you to be creative. It doesn't matter whether it's a, a grand work of art or whether it's um, uh, just a, a quick little sketch. And just because I've said 30 minutes doesn't mean it has to be 30 minutes at all, does it? It could be a lot less than that. If you've only got three minutes and you're doing a, a sketch in a book or on a, a scrap piece of paper somewhere, that has got to be better than not doing it at all. So don't think you've got to be stuck with the 30 minutes if you're uh, following along. D don't worry too much if you go over that. It's fine. It really doesn't matter at all. Don't put yourself under masses of pressure because if you put yourself under masses of pressure, it takes all the joy out of it, doesn't it? So... Uh, I think that's enough balloons for the time being. Let's give that a bit of a dry off. Uh, let's do that. Got a bit of tissue here to help it along as well. Just going to whack up the volume ever so slightly so that it dries faster. do it's almost dry uh, and now I'm going to work back over the top with more balloons but this time possibly a little bit stronger as they come further forward now what I do want to do uh, do I want that hmm no uh, I am going to uh, start to overlap them as well certainly overlap the strings and uh, see if I can overlap some of the color as well so let's I'm, I'm sort of drawn over here to this bit. So I've got a stronger bit of cerulean now. And let's get that balloon shape in there. Get the neck of it, tidy that up a little bit. Um, yes, it is uh, most definitely mum Sleeping Beauty colours. And if you want to know more about that story, you'll have to ask me sometime. I'm not going to recount it now. Uh, let's start to build these up. Okay, this is looking okay now. Let's do another one. Oh, it's all about the composition, isn't it? Down here, I think. So let's get the top in. 
uh, round here coming around to the bottom of this uh, in that shape let's get that little neck ah that's a good one like that one ah dear oh and people are singing up and away in my beautiful balloon i'm not going to sing you, nobody needs that of a tuesday morning uh so we've done a bit more cerulean let's go for some more cobalt teal uh, i've got my pot of water just over to one hand side just in case you're wondering what i'm doing over here i couldn't get everything into shot today not possible now let's see let's really load up with this color and see if we can overlap one now the joyful thing about using watercolor for this project of course is because it's kind of translucent and it means that you're going to be able to see one balloon behind the next balloon and uh, which is kind of playing into the properties of watercolor so where water, uh, where balloons would be translucent as opposed to transparent then you'd be able to see one balloon behind the other and that is why i chose it for this exercise today now lots of you are saying and i can see anne has uh, just mentioned it on the chat as well uh, I, <laughs> she's put, I've enjoyed the freedom to play. And Leslie has written, I am the queen of overthinking. And uh, Leslie, please don't beat yourself up about that because uh, if, if you're the queen of overthinking, I must be the empress of overthinking simply because uh, I can think way too hard about a project. And sometimes it's nice to just kind of throw caution to the wind and respond to it uh, in a particular way. So don't worry if you overthink it, don't worry if you're planning too much, all of that kind of stuff. As long as you're doing something, that's all that matters. Right, just gonna give those a bit of a quick dry. There we go. Um, oh, let's do it, shall we? Let's go for that violet. I feel a lovely, strong violet balloon coming on up, maybe up here in the top uh, right-hand corner. Now, Janice, lovely Janice is in the room. She's put, oh, I missed the start time, but happy to be here. Don't forget, you can always go and watch this back, particularly over on the 30 Days blog. I will remind you of where that is uh, near the end of the broadcast you can go back and you can watch all of them and you can see whether I lose my marbles by the end of September or not because uh, let's face it the chances are quite high of me doing that there you go that nice uh, lovely that that kind of ultramarine part of this violet coming into play there over the top let's get a nice string ah this is too much fun isn't it what's not to like about painting a load of balloons now also uh, lots of people have said that they've struggled to think of something different to whatever it is that I have painted on that day. You don't have to. It's fine. If you want to um, do a different version of what I've done, then do that. I'm happy with that. That's not a problem. Um, sometimes, I mean, that's kind of my job, isn't it? To be here to hopefully inspire you to create things. If you fancy having a go at what I've created that day, then do that. It's not a problem at all. Just don't put yourself under too much pressure, she says, putting herself under loads of pressure. There we go. Balloons are coming together now. Now, I don't think we need an awful lot more, but I do think we need some extra pink ones in there somewhere. I think uh, possibly we need one. Mm, yes, let's go for one up here. Let's, uh, ooh, look at that. That opera uh, colour really doing it the most fabulous job. Let's get a nice shape in there, getting it to the end and then popping it in a bit of ribbon or string or whatever it is we decide it to be. Uh, where else? I think it possibly, if I put a pink one in there, no, I think that'll be all right. Composition, you see, I mean, it's just a balloon and uh, it's a very, very simple shape. But actually, it makes you think about composition and about where you're placing objects within a space. So if you're thinking, well, Ali, yeah, this is all very well and good, but what is the point of 30 days, apart from obviously being creative? Well, actually, I'm probably 
practicing my composition skills whilst I'm thinking about these balloons, about where to place them and how to place them, that type of thing. So don't ever think that uh, a particular exercise isn't worthwhile. I've really had to kind of understand the space and understand uh, where all the tails are, tails, ribbon, that type of thing. So uh, don't, do I want pink in there? Do I want pink? Yes, I do want pink in there. Um, you know, don't, oh, like Leslie was saying, don't overthink it. Just uh, kind of go, okay, I'm going to paint some balloons. If I learn how to paint a balloon, that's awesome. If I learn about composition, then that's really cool as well, isn't it? You've uh, achieved something on that day. I think we are very quick to downgrade our own learning at times. And we think that something doesn't have value. Well, I am absolutely here to tell you that that's not true. Every time you pick up a brush or a pair of scissors or a pencil or a ruler or whatever it is, and you make a mark or you're creative or something occurs on a piece of paper or you go out into the garden and you arrange stones around your pond or you take a camera out, it's all being creative. All of those things are worthwhile. Um, I just think that we're very quick to say, oh, no, I haven't been creative today. Um, and then people say, well, OK, so if you weren't creative today, what did you do? And you go, well, you know, I did a bit of gardening and uh, I baked a cake uh, and I read a book and uh, I watched a movie. Uh, I'm here to tell you all of those things are creative. OK, it's just that we assume that there's some sort of hierarchy and that unless we've painted some sort of masterpiece, we haven't been creative, which is utter nonsense. It's just complete and utter nonsense. OK, one more balloon, I reckon. Now the lovely Helly is in the room. Uh, hello, my lovely. Um, she's put, really enjoying this, Ali. I'm on a tea break from work. I'm very tempted to just stay here with you guys. Much more interesting and fun. Oh, bless you, Helly, for tuning in. Uh, you are so kind. Uh, right, I think we need another balloon. Now, the question compositionally is, do I put it up here or do I put it down there? I'm happy with those two. I think I'm going to pop it up here. So let's, oh, maybe a bit stronger than that, Ali. Let's pop that up here. Let's get that uh, reflection in. Didn't mix my cerulean up quite well enough. Ooh, that's a good one. Like that shape does look a bit like I've squished it in though, doesn't it? Let's uh, expand it a little bit. There we go, that's better. And then into the blue in there. Look at that, so I have my balloons. Now, of course, it would not be one of my paintings if I didn't give it some spatter. I've actually really kind of dialed down the spatter. Um, okay, I'll give you that I did it on that day, but I was thinking about sky and clouds and all of that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm going to uh, spatter away to my heart's content because I think the movement is going to, of these balloons is going to benefit from a bit of spatter. So we've got some cerulean in there. Uh, let's do all four colours, actually. Let's, oh, hello. Let's not uh, skimp on this. We can go over into this page as well, which is why it's nice to, to give it some room. Kind of looks like someone's let go. Someone's been holding this bunch of balloons down here, hasn't it? And they've let go and they're going into the sky ah oh, i should have been a children's presenter shouldn't i <laughs> right uh let's uh get some spatter in down here this is the violet going in now and i'm going to finish off with the pink and then i'm going to give it a bit of a dry why have i missed that area out let's put some in there need some stronger pink in there and there we go. I think we are done. So let's give it a bit of a dry and then I will do a recap. Yes, Carol, confetti. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> so we're going to give it a quick dry. There we go. If you're doing it, you'll do a much better version of uh, drying it. I'm going to um, put a little bit of kitchen roll over the top just to, to soak up any excess. And let's do a little bit of a recap in the 30 Days book, shall we? I'll have uh, even more to show you next week. 
So we had uh, beginnings where I was thinking about the challenge. I was sort of thinking um, about uh, a bit of a family tree and family history as well, which led on to the day where we talked about ancestry. And I was thinking about my uh, second great grandmother, Sophia, and uh, did a little sketch of uh, her locket, which uh, I have. Then uh, on day three, we were thinking about music and I was listening to a piece uh, called Sleep. Well, it's an album called Sleep by my favourite composer, Max Richter. And I was working on black paper and white paper, sort of reversing it out. And then uh, day four, we were talking about architecture and I made that little pop-up version. Well, it doesn't, that bit doesn't want to pop up. Mechanics, you see. It's been bothering me, that bit of the house that doesn't want to pop up. Um, a little version of the house. And then yesterday was all about trees, where I went out and uh, did a rubbing on tissue paper, just with uh, a wax crayon, and brought that tissue paper in and made it into trees. And then today we've got birthday, both to celebrate my mum's birthday, anybody else who's got a birthday today, and of course the 30th birthday from the SAA. Did you enjoy that? I really hope you did enjoy that and uh, we have got lots and lots to come. So this 30 days challenge, unsurprisingly, is carrying on until the 30th of September. So every single day I will react to one of these prompts. So tomorrow is bubbles. And uh, you can see you've got all sorts of things there. Some really, really obvious. Some are going to need uh, potentially a little bit of thought. Uh, but uh, I'm going to react to them. I try not to think about them too far in advance. Now, some of them are kind of designed around my uh, diary in terms of the fact that there are just some days where I'm teaching or something had to happen um, or uh, I am swanning off uh, for a little bit of a mini break in the middle of uh, all of that. Oh, Katrina is saying it's her mum's birthday too. Oh, goodness me. Uh, everyone's got birthdays. Very popular day today. I'm glad I did it today now. Um, and so don't forget to uh, go over to that blog to go over to uh, my website, www.learningtopaint.co.uk. Look in the resources part where the Technique Tuesday broadcasts usually are and you will see uh, it says 30 days has September and that's going to stay there for a long time. So if the month kind of runs away with you and you're thinking, oh, I missed all of Ali's things about this, you can go back and look at it. That's why it's there. And hopefully it will be there to inspire you. Now, my biggest, biggest thank you for uh, today is to go to everybody out there because some of you have really started to run with this challenge and have been doing it uh, some people have just uh, tried one some people have been doing it every single day and some people have just been incredibly supportive they're not necessarily painting or creating but they're watching and they're commenting on other people's work as well which is kind of what it's all about isn't it the whole point is to be uh, supportive to be a community and and to think about creativity in a lovely positive way so an enormous thank you to everybody out there who is using the at Ali Board Artist, using the hashtag 30 days has September, because what's lovely is every time I open up my social media, I've got lots of notifications, I can see some beautiful artwork, and it's really interesting to see how people interpret it. So massive thanks to you out there, thanks to the SAA, thanks to Hannah Muller, thanks to Search Press as well. Um, keep up with the blog, but I will be back next week with another Technique Tuesday live where I'm going to be doing Forget Me Not and I'll tell you all about that and why Forget Me Not and all of those things when I see you. So thank you no matter how you're tuning in, whether you're tuning in live today or you're watching on Catch Up via Facebook or via Instagram or via the blog or via YouTube. Thank you guys ever so much because without people like you this challenge would mean nothing. So take lots of care of yourself and I will see you very soon. Take care lovely people. Bye!